So I brought uh, two cell phones today. <laughs> so this is my regular phone, and it's the kind of phone you have in your pockets also. You know very well what it does and what it does not. This is the uh, first cell phone uh, from the 80s, 35 years ago. Uh, everything is big around it. B big battery, big antenna, big uh, handheld. Uh, so, <coughs> you know, in basically any way, this phone is better. Except for one thing. This phone has one feature that is outperforms this one. And that is, uh, it has a much stronger signal. Much stronger than the phone we have in our pockets today. This phone can reach much further than our the phones we have today. And that is, of course, <coughs> very good to have, this, this kind of feature here in the, uh, in the region where we are now. Uh, so it appears that for every generation, first generation, fourth generation, for every generation, the phone has become better in many ways, except one, coverage, signal range. And uh, that's, of course, that's a problem. And uh, so it, uh, that is, uh, the question is, how do you deal with that? The operators in the cities, they deal with that by building more base stations. For every network, more and more base stations are built, and uh, that you can do in the cities. Here, it's too expensive. It's too expensive to, to build, clo uh, to cover basically the, uh, the, uh, the area here. Uh, and the same goes, unfortunately, also for, the, uh, for fixed uh, connections, fiber connections and uh, uh, telephones. It's very expensive to dig fiber into the ground the further you, the further you, you live from urbanization. And uh, uh, so it appears that whenever you go here, we have a good connection here on the, uh, on the, on the hotel. But whenever, w as soon as we leave here, the area, and we move into the smaller roads, the forest, and the people in the, here in the audience, you know very well that this is so, you will lose connection. It appears there is a line, an invisible line in the forest, that when you cross it, you lose connection, both from the fixed uh, 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 connections and from the wireless connection. And that is a, a big problem, of course, for all the, the stakeholders here. You have b large values here, forestry, tourism, you have uh, the healthcare. But the most, of, most of the important thing is the, uh, the people who live here. Uh, when people beyond the line do not have coverage, do not have a good connection, and the people within the line do, then you get a problem and it becomes, in the end, a democratic problem. Uh, so the question is, what can you do about it? Can we do anything about that uh, when it's too expensive to build base stations, too expensive to dig fiber? Uh, so we started a project uh, earlier this, this summer uh, with the ambition, basically, to give to this phone the coverage of that phone. And in a sense, even more ambition. We want to, as a first step, make sure that we cover Sweden, the north of Sweden, the region, completely. That we g give connectivity to all places in Sweden. And we are very happy that that project, uh, full coverage, uh, to have as, as, as the ambassador of that project, Vin Cerf. And uh, Vin Cerf, I think, is, uh, is with us here. Uh, Vin, is the, um, Vin can, you, can you hear us? There, can you hear me now? Yes. We can yeah. hear you. Yeah. We but cannot dark. see you yet. <laughs> <laughs> we cannot see you though, Vint, yet. Uh, oh, well, I have the video turned on, uh, so I don't know why you're not seeing me. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what to tell you about that. Uh, I, my video is, uh, is showing that it, the camera is on. Okay, we'll do our best here. We did see you a, wi uh, a while ago. Oh really? Yes. So I don't know when, when we why. let's see if when we established the call I, we did see you. But I was talking about connectivity here in the region. Yes. yes. Uh, did you did you hear my introduction so far? Yes, I did. And Good. I was going to tell you that uh, the phone you were describing we used to call the Motorola brick because it weighed about two and a half pounds. Yes, it does. And, That's why I put it on the ground here. It, it, yeah, exactly. And so when I talked to the inventor of that, Marty Cooper, uh, I asked him how long did the battery last? And he said uh, about 20 minutes. 
And I said, that seems rather short. And he said, no, it's okay. You can't hold the phone up that long anyway. <laughs> that's, that's so true. Uh, I was, we're working here on the, on the connection, Vint. I was just uh, introducing you. Uh, let me complete that before I hand over. Uh, Vint, Cerf, Vint Cerf is the vice president now of Google. He's, w he's known by m many as the, one of the fathers of the internet. And uh, he is also with Google now as a chief internet evangelist, if I say it correctly. And uh, yeah. so we're very happy to have him as the, as the ambassador of our, of our uh, project. And uh, so my introduction was kind of uh, a bit pessimistic, Vint, about, co uh, about uh, uh, connecting the regions and the rural, the rural regions. Uh, do you agree that this is a concern and to what extent is the concern or is there hope? It's an enormous concern, and 